Hello everyone. Welcome to video lecture series of Computer Organization and Architecture. Today's topic is Multiplication Algorithm. This is for signed magnitude data. So in this video, I'll tell you the hardware implementation for multiplying operation at the same time flowchart or the hardware algorithm for the multiplication. Let us begin. Multiplication of two fixed point binary numbers in sign magnitude representation which is the objective of this video this is done with the process of, of successive shift and add operation suppose in general also in your daily life you perform the multiplication which you used to do with the paper and pen by the process of successive shift and add operation so let me tell you with the help of a numerical example you can see here you are going to multiply 23 into 19. So you have written 23 into binary, 19 into the binary as well. First number is the multiplicand, second is the multiplier. So what you are doing? First, you are going to multiply the multiplicand with bit by bit, means first with 1. Then you have shifted 1 bit left, again multiplied with the next bit which is 1, shifted again 1 bit next multiplied with 0 and at the end you have taken the addition of all means 437 which is the result of this particular product. So how this multiplication is being performed? Just you have multiplied 1 by 1 bit, shifted 1 position left. In case if multiplier is 1, so the same multiplicand will be copied. If multiplier is 0, so 0 will be copied over there. Right, so this is how the multiplication operation in general is being performed. And if you are need to concern about the product, so the product sign, it will be depending upon the sign of the multiplicand and the multiplier. If both signs are alike, plus plus or minus minus, so the sign of the product will be positive. If they are alike, unlike means one is positive, second is negative, first is negative, second is positive. So the sign of the product will be negative. So this is how in general this operation is performed. But now we have to understand how simplified because when the digital computers need to perform then how it is to be done. So hardware implementation for the multiplication operation as I have told you when digital computers need to perform the multiplication then there must be some convenient process because this particular process which we have, we have discussed that is relatively lengthy. So some of the modifications have been done when the hardware implementation is done. Basically three things you must remember. First thing means instead of providing variety of register to add and uh, like store all simultaneous or intermediate results in between multiplier. It is convenient to add an adder for the summation of only two binary bits, right? So a parallel adder is being used over here. Second, instead of shifting multiplication to the left, here the partial product is shifting to the right. You can see in our conventional technique process multiplication during multiplication, it is shifted towards left but here the successive partial product is shifted towards the right when the digital computers have to deal with and the third important thing when the corresponding bit of multiplier is zero there is no need to add all zeros means here you can see multiplier bit is zero so all the zeros have been listed and that have been added so in the case of the hardware implementation there is no need to add the zeros right it means only the partial product will be shifted it will not alter its value so here you can observe the hardware implementation so this hardware for multiplication process it consists of several registers you can observe register b register a register Q. So the multiplier is stored in register Q and its sign is in the register QS. So multiplier is stored over here. This, this will be stored in register Q. And the sequence counter SC, this is initially set to the number which is equal to the number of bits in the multiplier. Here you can observe the number of bits in the multiplier is what? 5. So the sequence counter will be set to the value 5 right 
and this sequence counter value it will be decremented one whenever each partial product is formed and the content is shifted and the content of sequence counter reduces one by one and when this content is will be zero that will be the end of the operation and the product is being formed so initially multiplicand is in register b this is the multiplicand multiplicand is in the register b multiplier is in the register q and the sum of a and b right here you can observe there is a parallel adder which is for adding the content of register b and a so the sum of register a and b it forms the partial product and this product is being shifted to register e a right e a result means whatever the product you are finding that product or that result that is being stored in the register e a e is a flip flop it stores one bit of the information and then both the partial product and multiplier are shifted to the right means partial product is in e a multiplier is in q so this is shifted towards right one by one bit right so when it is shifted you can observe suppose there are four bits in a so the least significant bit of a will be shifted to the most significant bit of q right similarly bit of e will be shifted to the a most significant position and this shifting continues and the sequence counter values decremented by 1 so in this manner what you are going to observe so the rightmost flip flop in the register q which you can observe as qn which is holding the rightmost value this is qn and it will hold the bit of the multiplier and this particular bit needs to be inspected this bit is of r interest whatever its value and accordingly the operation needs to be performed this is what i have explained to you now let us discuss about the hardware algorithm for the multiply operation mm -hmm. here you can observe this is the flow chart for the hardware multiplication algorithm initially multiplicand is in b multiplier is in q and their corresponding signs have been represented by ds and qs so what we are going to do we are going to take the xor of qs and ds if both the signs are same positive or negative its result will be zero if signs are different one is positive other is negative one is negative other is positive so that result will be one right and signs are compared and that is both a and q values you can observe the initial value of a which is the accumulator that is being set kept as zero value of e which is the flip flop that's value is also set to zero and sequence counter is set to the number equal to the number of bits which is e in equal to the multiplier so here uh, you can observe sequence counter is set with n minus 1 why n minus 1 because n is the total number of bits and leftmost bit will represent the sign so the remaining number of bits will be n minus 1 it means the operand must be stored with its sign and one bit of the word will be occupied by the sign so the magnitude will be handled with n minus 1 bits right so initially what is going to happen when these values have been initialized now our interest is to inspect the value of qn what is the value of qn qn is the rightmost bit if the value of qn is 1 then addition will be performed a plus b content of a and b will be added by the parallel adder result will be stored into the e a register and then shr shift right the content of e a q and sequence counter will be decrementing by one this sequence counter will be decremented by one sc minus one this is not n minus one this is sc minus one if the value of qn is zero so this sequence counter there will be no addition only shifting operation will be performed and sequence counter will be decremented by one when the value of sequence counter reaches zero that will be the end of the program and the product or the result will be stored in a q if this is not equal to 0 same of same loop will be continued this is what i have explained it to you now let us discuss it with the help of the example 
this is the sequence counter minus 1. Suppose we have two numbers, the same example which we have taken, multiplicate is in B, this is nothing but number 23, multiplier is in Q which is nothing but the number 19 which we have taken in the example. Now let us perform whatever we have discussed in the case of the algorithm flowchart and whatever the action needs to be taken that I have taken the picture over here. Initially what is being done? We have discussed the content of A will be set to 0. The content of Q will be what? The multiplier. So the multiplier value is what? 1 double 0 double 1. The value of E is also set to 0 as per the flowchart we have discussed. You can observe how many bits are there in the case of the multiplier 5. So the sequence counter will be set to the 5. Now just observe because our interest is what? To observe what is the value of Qn. Here the value Qn this rightmost bit. This value is what? 1. So the when the value is 1 it means we have to perform A plus B. A is 0. This number is B which is the multiplicand right this is b so we have to add this a plus b perform addition 011 011 011 000 011 now this is what we are getting after addition we have to perform shift right so when we are getting this performing shift right means here the value of q is what 1 double 0 double 1 shift right means this 0 will be at this position 1, 1 will shift over here, this 1 will be out. So you can observe this 1 will be shifted over here, 1 will be out, this is 1, 0, 0, 1 and here this 1 from A's least significant bit will be available. This again will be shifted right, 1, 1, 0, 1 and this value is being shifted over here, now E will be 0. After shifting, what is going to happen? The value of sequence counter is decreased by 1 and now it will be 4. Again check because now the sequence counter is not 0. It means the overall operation will continue. Check the value of Qn. Qn is 1 means again we have to perform A plus B. Content is this A. Now add the value of B. You are getting this result. Now perform shift right. Right. When you are performing shift right. 1 1 bit will be shifted to the right now this one will be out you will be getting this result again sequence counter will decrement by one now you check what is the value of qn now it is zero since zero it means no addition directly shifting so when this is zero it means only shift operation is being done perform shifting one will be shifted over here the zero will be out the zero will be at this particular position you are getting this value again the sequence counter is decremented by 1 it is decremented by 1 reaches to 2 this means process will continue check the qn bit again it is 0 means shift right operation 1 1 bit this bit will come to this position this will be out this bit will be at this particular position so you will be getting this value sequence counter will be decremented by 1 again check for the qn this is 1 it means you have to add b into a this is a this is b add a b into a you are getting this result again perform shift right this one will come to this place this one will be out zero will be coming to its place what you are getting you are getting this value and sequence counter will be decremented by 1 which is 0 means now this is the end of the program and this is the content which is being available in A. This is the content which is being available in Q means result will be stored nothing where but it is in AQ. This is 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 0 1. Convert it into the decimal you will be getting the same value which we have discussed which is the 437 right the product of 23 and 19. So this is how multiplication operation is performed right. I hope with the help of this example now it must be clear to you.
थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो